Hey everybody, let's talk about making a flowchart. So what a flowchart is, is a flowchart is a way for us to organize our thoughts when we are trying to write something down that is like a process or an algorithm. And an algorithm is just a series of steps to do something. So for example, if you were trying to explain to somebody who had never made one before how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you would have a very detailed list of steps of what they would need to do. And the more clear your directions and your details are, the better your um, the better the results are of the person following them. So with the task of what you guys are doing, you want to make sure that your directions are very clear. So the flow chart will help you to organize your thoughts and get everything into a systematic flow so they'll understand it. And so that is the why of why we make flow charts. We simply make them to help organize our information in a way that makes sense. All right, so now when you use a flow chart whenever you're doing something that's multi-stepped, like something that's going to require more than just do this and then you're done. So a series of steps. And then um, the how of how we're going to do it is basically the subject of this video. And so let's take a look at, um, at what a flow chart might even look like. So let's look at some of the symbols we're going to use. So we've got four symbols here. We've got this ellipse right here. We've got a rectangle. We've got a diamond. And we've got an arrow. So the ellipse is basically your start and your end symbol that you will use. And um, you'll usually only use two per flow chart. All right. The next one we have, we have um, a rectangle. And a rectangle is a command statement. In other words, telling somebody to do something. So you start your algorithm, and then it'll be like, all right, the first thing you need to do is you do this. And then the next thing you need to do is this. Right. So each separate command will have its own box. All right, and then when we look at the diamond, the diamond is for anything that involves a decision. So, for example, if you're talking about making that peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it would be like, is the bread covered with peanut butter? And if it returns a value of yes, then you'll move on to your next block. And if it's not, then you'll go back and you'll repeat the step until you need until you're finished. And then this finish this uh, this bottom symbol we have here is basically just showing the direction of the flow in the flow chart. It's showing what way is it going um, so you know what comes first. All right. And that's usually pretty simple. So let's take a look at an example of a flow chart. So I put together this flow chart here on how to make a hard boiled egg. All right. So some many of you know how to do this and some of you probably have no idea how to do it. It's pretty simple to do. Um, I think I got this, uh, these directions from Martha Stewart or from somebody on how to make a hard boiled egg and everybody does it just slightly differently, but <coughs> the results wind up being pretty much the same thing. So I start with my start symbol, right? I've got my, ignore the blue things. That's just so I can do the, um, do the animation. So start with your circle, you know, your ellipse, your start. And then my first step is to get out a pan on the number of eggs you want to make. So that is a command. That's my command step. And then you can see we've got the arrows going down. And so this arrow is going down right here to my next command, which is all right. Next, you put the eggs in the empty pan. And then your next command, fill the pan with enough water to cover the eggs by one inch. And then you've got put pan on the stove burner and turn on high. And then when water starts to boil set timer for five minutes so you've got a series of commands that are going through here if you wanted to in between this step and this one right here in between stove burner and the water boiling you could have put a decision one in there that said is water boiling and if it's you know yes then you would go on to this when water starts to boil set timer for five minutes if it's not boiling basically you go back and you just wait so you don't need to get that complicated, especially not for what you guys are doing. But this is basically the rough idea of how to get started on it. And I, I finished the flow chart on the next page right here. So if you want to take a look at that, you can. Basically, the thing I hoped you noticed 
is how broken down and detail oriented this is. The better you are at explaining each and every single step and breaking it down into its, its micro components, the more somebody's going to understand that. Because when you're explaining something to somebody, and you're using words or you're, you you know and you're not just doing a visual like here just you know let me do it because that's not what we're after here what we're after is you being able to show somebody how to do something that is confusing to them and so that's where the flow chart is really going to keep you honest and make you think about what you're doing so i hope this was helpful to you um, and we'll be there to help you along you know every step of the way with this so if you if you need more help with this please reach out to me or Miss Acuff or Mr. Kloiber about it. So good luck.